Many years ago, I attended medical school and worked in the medical field. I have a good amount of knowledge about medicine and try to learn everything I can about my medical conditions. When I first became sick, medical providers would become very suspicious of my background when I would use words such as hypertension for high blood pressure and hyperglycemia for high blood sugar. I would be asked if I worked in the medical field. I would say yes and that I'd also attended medical school. Many times, when this information was revealed, the doctor's attitude toward me would change. It was as if my medical knowledge was a threat to the doctor. I would be told there was nothing wrong with me, or that since I had so much medical knowledge, I knew how to pretend to be sick, and thus I was faking my health issues to get attention. I would be sent home without receiving a proper consultation with the doctor. After enduring these challenges for several years, I decided to take a new approach. I no longer used medical terms during my appointment. Instead of saying I have upper left quadrant abdominal pain, I would say my stomach hurt. I would also try to play really dumb. But in the midst of playing dumb, I have to carefully choose my words to lead the doctor down the correct path to getting a diagnosis or having the correct medical test ordered. For example, if a doctor said that eating lots of salt can cause high blood pressure, I would say, Oh, I did not know that. It is a good thing I eat lots of salt because my blood pressure is frequently low. I wonder how low my blood pressure would be if I did not eat so much salt. This would alert the doctor that I have low blood pressure. Additionally, since I cannot say that I've done extensive research and based on lab findings and symptom presentation, it is likely I have a certain medical condition. Thus, I cannot ask to have the medical condition investigated as this threatens the doctor's medical knowledge. Instead, I often refer to a friend who has a similar medical condition. I will say, my friend had something like this happen. She had similar issues of pain and cramps during menstruation and heavy bleeding. Her doctor did a surgery to look at my friend's lady parts. The doctor discovered my friend had endometriosis. By me linking my friend's symptoms with the procedure of doing a laparoscopic surgery to look for endometriosis, this will help the doctor possibly make the connection that the symptoms I'm having are very likely due to endometriosis. The doctor then may say, it is possible you may be having the same thing happen to you. I will ask my colleague, who is much more experienced than I am about this medical condition to see if your symptoms fit. And lastly, if the doctor is going in the wrong direction, I will say key words which the doctor learned in medical school for specific conditions. One time, I was extremely sick with pneumonia. I was very suspicious the infection was causing meningitis. I could not get the doctor to make the connection that I might have meningitis. During the visit with the doctor, I suddenly said, Excuse me, doctor, I need to rub my neck. My neck is very stiff. For the last two days, I've been having a hard time moving my neck. I also have a severe headache. Please continue with the appointment. I need to put my head down as my head hurts a lot. By saying I had a stiff neck and severe headache, the doctor was alerted that these are common symptoms for meningitis. The doctor suddenly realized I may have meningitis and ordered the appropriate test, which confirmed I had meningitis. There are some doctors who want the patient's help, and for this, I am very grateful. But for the many medical providers who do not want assistance, I have to carefully choose my words and play dumb at appointments. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.